playing Pathfinder, Galaspire Survivors. Um, we are in pre-launch, launching in less than 48 hours. And uh, we're gonna do a quick playthrough here to see if this version is bug free. We're going to hope so. So let's start. I'm going to start by selecting my characters. Uh, here I'm gonna take um, the female fighter, um, Dariel as a rogue, and uh, I'm gonna go with um, Iverna for my wizard. Okay, so um, I have to pick the character that I'm gonna play with and also a companion so depending on which character i'm selecting here um i have to select you know um, one of the two others um we'll get back to the uh, option at the top here characters potion and quests um once uh, i finish my, my my run but uh i've already got a few active quests and the first one being clear the first floor so we're gonna try to so uh, I'm gonna pick the wizard here just because um, I like all of the um, the, the, the effects, um, a lot of fire, electricity, and all of that. That's pretty cool. And uh, with the fighter companion, because uh, I know for sure that's gonna be useful. The fighter will be able to uh, to uh, protect me while I'm casting my spells. So, as you can see, the fighter here is moving ahead of me, trying to uh, protect me in my quest. Uh, I've got a few quests uh, on the top right of the screen here. A few essence the green orbs here, now which will experience, and that will help me level up. So here, the fighter can be used, as you see, to uh, smash the enemy uh, in front. Um, and the trick here is really to uh, use it and place it um, the best possible way to maximize the, um, the, the kind of big area of effect um, of uh, the sword slash. So I've got a few abilities for my level up here, Lighting Bolt, Bathness, Force Barrage, Freeze Time, Force Barrage being the um, default uh, spell for the wizard and um, we are always gonna have that and having here a rare um, force barrage is pretty good actually it's, it's a very good start for my run so I'm gonna do that um, okay a few potion here and uh, I see that I have a chest available on the top right I'm gonna take that uh, quickness potion so I can quickly run to the chest uh, that looks to be kind of nearby Alright, on the web level up, uh, I'm gonna go with fleet. Um, like the uh, like being able to run away when it's the right thing. Oh, and I've just killed an elite here, which gave me a chance. So let's roll that dice. 13. Good. So, force barrage and fleet. Get that, and at the same time, um, I also leveled up. Again, so I'm gonna take Flame Vortex just because it looks pretty nice. Um, at the beginning, it's hard to control; it just goes in any direction. But um, as you level up, it's getting pretty good and uh, pretty uh, quite a area of attack. That is awesome. Fleet um, epic. Um, that is great. Movement speed is pretty useful in this game because it, um, as you're going through the levels, there's a lot of chests, and all of the um, all of the uh, speed bonus that you can get, you know, it, it helps you get from one point to the other, which in the end gives you more ability, more power, more level ups. And so again, just got a rare uh, flame vortex and rare fleet. That is very good. So trying to make my way here. Blue potion, that's great, it's going to collect everything I missed. So I'm going to level up and a chain lightning. That is great spell looking for. 
also as well. Um, but it bounces through a bunch of enemies and um, it actually is very useful. There's a lot of enemies around, so I know exactly what's coming up in the, in the next few floors. So um, I know that this is going to be helpful for sure. They all are, but I, I just like this. Uh, fallback strategy, toughness, and um, so then we'll. I think I'm gonna take these fallback strategy here just because I've, I've looked at a lot of the, the streamers already um, that, that started streaming the game and not that many are using this and I'm gonna show you why it's good. So I'm gonna take this which is going to give me uh, rerolls in the adventure but every time you uh, level up you get um, those, those cars you get a select and from time to time you get another fallback strategy which in the end gives you even more rollback so it's it's kind of it's, it's, it's very useful so it, it takes one of the passive slots um, but it does give you a lot of choices uh, and, and faster level so like this one here all common I'm gonna just reroll I've got seven reroll now um, let's, let's use some here falling star that's great um, Again, an ability that I cannot um, control, but um, it's it's gonna add a lot of uh, damage later on. So I'm I'm going for the long run here. Um, so some swiping fighter here. All right. Um, on the top right, we can see that there's uh, enemy slain to using four over four hundred. Um, to get to that uh, 400, we actually have a portal that brings us to the um, next floor. And um, you know, it's, it's just going down the floors uh, until we get to bosses and in the end fight our character. Ocean Finder, that's great as well. Uh, as we're progressing and we're gonna get hit, we want those potions as much as we can. Let's keep re-rolling that thing. Toughness. Potion Finder. Gonna re-roll, re-roll, let's go. Alright, two more chances. Come on, come on. Essence Extraction, that is great. Um, let's try to level up as fast as we can and um, by getting more essence from the enemy we kill. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing good. Uh, let's try to get another chest here. Uh, those chests are worth a lot, so getting to um, as much as we can is, is very powerful. Uh, getting as much chests as we can. So right now I've got 30 seconds. Uh, I could have taken the portal right there, but I've got 30 seconds to just walk around, collect some orbs, more experience, or um, collect more chests. So I'm gonna do that. Eleven. Okay, I guess. Force barrage, flame vortex. Oh, good. Uh, oh, another chest. Left here. Let's try to go there. Um, opening a chest takes a few seconds, but as you are um, getting like zero, oh my god. I was about to say, as soon as you touch a circle, timer stops and you actually have the time to take that chest, but <laughs> I've, got, I've got teleported right before that. Um, so this game um, has a, a, a ton of lore. Uh, we've been trying to um, Give you know uh, past the story. There's a, lot, a story about uh, what the characters are doing there, how they got there, uh, what are they trying to do. Um, a lot of side, uh, lore, different lore information about um, items. Also, we're talking about the medallion they use to teleport and get back when they die and get back to the last wall. Um, so I encourage everyone to read those through uh, when they play. Right. Oh, I got the first quest completed uh, since it was as simple as here one floor. I'm, I'm not trying to run 
do that chest again. Um, for like as much as we can. Um, one of the feedback we received from the community recently was that uh, the dice roll was, um, was taking too long. And um, I mean, it depends. I do like the animation, but some people want to be in max and you just want to play as fast as possible, get to that zone. Um, uh, I heard the Zen being, you know, it's a Zen game and they want to just go through. So we actually um, did something for that. We, we had uh, just before the launch uh, implemented, we, we have implemented the, uh, the fast roll. So you can actually click through when the dice is going to show. I'm going to show you, um, you can press A or if you're using a controller, Xbox controller like me, um, you can press A and it's just going to skip through. So too rare, which is very good, but I want to damage since I'm getting to the first boss here and, and there's quite a lot of enemies in there, so I want to make sure to have some damage here. So I'm going to fast roll here, which was criticized by some, so we fix that. Here we go, fast roll, as soon as it shows, you click and it gives you the, the result. So, last potion here, last potion. Let's run to that other chest, ignoring everyone around. Uh, oh, this is the first mini bus actually. Did those things, those flaming skull make it run around? It's because of this guy uh, at the bottom, this one here in green. Um, this one is taking a lot of damage here, so I'm gonna try to bullet this one out. Just push him through, come on, fighter. Smash, 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 potion. That's great. Great. Oh, wow. Falling star. Going for the long run. Come on. Oh boy, that's a lot of damage. Can I get some potion? Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use your OS side potion. I'm gonna freeze time here. You attacked right behind him. So I froze time for like 3 seconds here, but um, it, it gave me the time to just cast a few spell uh, right in his face. And here we go. Um, what do I take? So, as I was saying, like reroll, you see I've got. I've used 6 out of 7 reroll, so I'm gonna take fallback strategy again. Um, and see what it gives at the, uh, the next uh, next time level up. So I had one out of seven remaining. So this is a super chest um, because uh, <laughs> well um, because I did kill the um, the uh, mini boss, the first mini boss, um, but <laughs> I rolled pretty bad dice here. So um, that's that's it. oh blue potion collecting all the orbs. Let's go. Um, and uh, now I've got two out of eight reroll left, so it actually um, gave me more total reroll, and it's gonna fill up um, uh, as I'm living up. Uh, I'm gonna take some more potion finder here. Try to run to the other chest. Again, this is a, a game that is coming out on. September 14, and uh, I'm playing the uh, pre-launch version, so it's pretty much early access. Uh, when I say coming out, it's actually as early access, not the full game. And um, I'm playing you know, one of the latest build that is going to be uh, live soon. Um, so hopefully, we're not going to hit too many um, bugs. Right before the um, collecting the level up here, I took a purple potion here on the ground. Um, and as you can see now, I'm, I'm throwing part around, killing a lot of enemies. This one is bigger, you can see it's an elite. Uh, hopefully, it has a chest when killing. Uh, there's a chance of that happening. And yeah, that's it. So, killing elites um, has some chance of delivering. Pretty good, too rare. Uh, so yeah, kill, killing elites uh, has a chance of uh, dropping chests, which is great here. So I think we're gonna do that. Uh, we're almost.
almost at the end of the level. 450 out of 500. Chest. Net 20. That's good. Great. Um, that gold is going to be useful for purchasing potion uh, after I die uh, for my next run, uh, which is going to be pretty useful. I'm already planning on buying. Uh, probably health potion because um, there's three different kinds. I'm gonna be able to um, add regen over time to my potions, uh, which is great. So you have the base uh, value and then you have other properties that can be added on top of that. So it's actually a good thing. So I'm gonna run through that chest. Pretty far, but it's okay. This is the third floor. I'm gonna press uh, pause here. Uh, third floor, I've took the Force Barrage, Flame Vortex. Well, Force Barrage what is always there. Flame Vortex, Falling Starch, and Lightning. Lightning and um, Fleet Potion Finder, Essence Extraction, and Fallback Strategy. This is my build right now. I don't know how well it's going to be. So, uh, new enemies here on level 3. Oh, here again, that, that wonderful potion. I'm just gonna blast on this. Just for fun. It's so satisfying. So, I wanted to run to the chest, but I mean, how could you not? right here and uh, I'm already full health so I'm gonna leave that potion there uh, in case I need it all right nine okay I guess chest Second phase of the first boss, um, there's a lot of people who have one of those potions. Uh, where is it? Oh, I kind of lost focus there on the uh, chest. Um, playing with the, um, the fighter as a companion here, you can actually manipulate it like you go away, you come back, you go away, you come back, like this. And as you're getting good, controlling that you can actually do quite a lot of damage with uh, while dodging you know, most of the attack. Um, I'm not the best one to do that. I've seen, um, I've seen people uh, when blocking the game do that pretty efficiently and um, so there's there's skills. Um, if you if you got the skills uh, you can be better further. It's not just random attack, random direction. There's a, quite a lot of strategy as well on um, what you pick, the attacks, and also how you play um, as each of the characters have their own um, way of moving around and their own abilities um, as a main character but also as a companion. So I'm gonna take the chain like thing again and um, some more fallback strategy. Legendary are worth um, quite a lot more 
than the um, epics and, and rare objects that you can come, so it's a pretty good thing. As you can see the, uh, or here, I should say, the music intensifies as we're uh, advancing in the levels or uh, as we're losing energy, it's all dynamic, it's really good, it's very good music. Uh, there's special music for the buses, uh, I'm very very happy with the result we, we got here. Um, it's, it's fun to hear, I'm not uh, tired of hearing it, and, and trust me, I, I heard it. I have a lot of fun. So, um, it's, uh, it's a good music. Here there's a transition. So, I know, no, we're getting to the boss here. So the next, the next floor, so we're at floor 3 right now. So, the next floor is the boss. Uh, I'm gonna try to get that last chest here. Uh, where is it? Where is it? with your companions and prepare for your next attempt. Um, I guess this is my next attempt. So the Grave General has smelled the wretched strength of the Arcane Magician then. Not but Tarbathon may wield such power in this realm. Let's see, I guess. Um, there is going that huge thing around. So we're gonna we're gonna use um, some strategy here. He's running towards us, but he's gonna run some walls here. And you're gonna stun him while he's doing that. Uh, so gonna get some distance, make him run, having the wall here, and get some damage on myself while doing so. That happened. So he's in the first phase right now until uh, until build uh, all his HP, I guess. Um, I'm actually losing more point of that block, more HP. Dodging that here, so keep dodging right at the last moment when he, he runs towards you. Close, that's going to be possible if you're far away. You know, it's easier to uh, control. I still do have my uh, my um, freeze time, which is my ultimate. Uh, I just have to press um, Y on my controller here to activate it. It's going to give me a few seconds of um, where nothing is moving, everything is freeze, and um, that can be quite useful to either attack or evade uh, evade a lot of enemies. So most people are gonna use it to evade because it's you know everything is frozen and you can just move where you want. Um, but you can also use it uh, proactively to um, position yourself right next to the enemy you wanna kill with the uh, wizard and have him show a lot of those uh, force barrage bullets right in the face of some enemies. We're gonna try to dodge all of this here. Not successfully, so I'm gonna use this. So everything is frozen here. Uh, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna use my warrior to do some damage here. Uh, I know I can resuscitate him, so that's great. Those, those um, orange tanks are exploding skeletons, so I shouldn't stay near that. That, that is not good at all. Um, got some more attack from the boss here. Uh, he's not happy. Oh shit, that. Two potions, that is great. Uh, force barrage for it. It's pretty good. Right. Dodge 
That's pretty hard, actually. Uh, Reroll six out of thirteen now. So let's let's do some reroll here. I want to have something good. Come on. Oh, are you kidding me? Uh, let's take. It. Uh, already full each piece. I'm I'm, I'm gonna leave that there. So little damage. Uh, not a good build, I guess. I'm not sure. So, if you're listening to the audio, uh, you can feel the, uh, the electric, oh no, the electric guitar uh, as uh, I'm getting <laughs> killed by the boss. So, Grave General, as you can see, um, that boss isn't easy. I mean, I've played many times, and uh, from time to time, like this run, uh, you know, uh, that wasn't enough. So, um, I've got quite a lot of XP still, um, 2400, uh, some goal, I'm gonna be able to purchase some potions, and uh, I've completed quest logs uh, as well, the wealth quest log, <laughs> I completed quest, we can see the quest log. Um, so I'm gonna go back to the, um, the main menu here, uh, where it brings me straight to the quest. And uh, I can see the clear uh, floor quest that has been completed, which gives me 5,000 XP and 1,000 gold, which is great. Um, and I am one second away from having a third quest uh, with an active potion. So I, I didn't quite um, look at it before. I should have picked a few more potions just to clear it out. Um, so since I completed my first run, uh, I actually have some um, XP, uh, which gives me uh, both um, uh, attribute point and talent point. Uh, talent point being um, these things here. So I'm going to come back to that. But right now I've had, I have two available points, um, and since I'm a wizard, I'm going to go with 
uh, some intelligence here and uh, I could have done wisdom as well um, so if I want to have more information I can press Y here on my controller and uh, as you can see intelligent increased damage of spells which is great here and uh, directly affect the potency of certain wizard ability like force mastery which, which is um, some of the talent as well and wisdom decreases the base cooldown which is great for wizard then we have talents um, and uh, we've got three points uh, so we there's only a few talents that are unlocked the other ones are going to be unlocked at either level two three or four and um, each talent has four upgrades so prodigy um, experience point required for a level up is reduced by eight percent um, which is great so you're basically leveling up faster um, the shield the shield is very valuable so it, it's just a free hit you're giving it shield it charges back every few seconds and um, and then you can uh, take a hit and it, you lose the shield and then you start back so I'm gonna take that because that's very useful and um, increased looting range uh, is good as well prodigy is awesome and uh, I'm gonna go with um, uh, this one is uh, the damage is increased by five percent up to 50 percent um, when not moving so if you're standing still it's it's something i have a play style where i run around so um i don't idle farm <laughs> uh but uh for, for that this reason i'm gonna go with telekinesis here um all right so we now have uh Wizard. Oh, I did not purchase my potions. Um, too bad. Next time, yes. All right, let's do this. This is exactly what I had in mind. Let's do this. So, running around, going to find some chest again. Uh, let's try to kill that uh, Grave General uh, once and for all. So, we have a um, quest here with the one second remaining. So, we can see my blue bubble around me. Um, uh, this is my shield that was activated, so let's take a hit. Let's try to take it. Oh, lightning bolt! I love lightning bolt. Um, very good um, spell. Very good for clearing out lots of enemy at the same time as well. So you see the absorb. Absorb means um, I did. Um, I did get hit. But uh, I got no damage because I absorbed my shield and took it. Uh, so I'm gonna take fleet again. We're gonna try it a bit of a different feel, uh, uh, build here. Um, so fleet, uh, I just like the movement speed, so I'm gonna take that awesome roll um, on the uh, lightning bolt rare again. That is great news. Oh, and I did complete my uh, quest here. Chest wasn't too far away. That's great. And uh, I'm gonna take the uh, Howling Blizzard. Uh, again, this one looks pretty awesome. Big cone of frost. But look at that thing. It's just uh, pretty good looking. And as you're living up, uh, it gets bigger and bigger and, and Rampage uh, when there's again when there's a lot of enemies, it's just it's amazing. Um, I'm gonna go on to the other chest again. Oh, let's take this and do it faster. But, uh, toughness. How am I going with tough now? No. Let's let's go let's go damage. The earlier game was more defensive, now let's go damage. Lightning Bolt, Howling Blizzard, and, um, and uh, Chin Lightning. Those things will do some DPS for sure. Chess, uh, let's roll. Oh, come on, Legendary, let's go. Oh, come on. Obviously. Obviously. Uh, freeze time is like extraction, fast recovery. I'm gonna go with the Howling Blizzard this time again. 
Let's, uh, let's try to get some chests out. Chest. Lighting gold rare, third time. That is amazing. And you know what? Let's be lucky here and try to have as many chests as we can. You can see that lighting bolt just going through everything. Lucky passive that gave me this. Chain uh, lighting. I want to have more bands, uh, more targeted enemy with chain lighting. So I'm just gonna take some of this, uh, hoping to get more projectile. Oh, let's go just for fun. So satisfying. here towards the chest on the bottom right. right almost 400 oh where there we go um, so here four and uh, let's do some roll seven I think some speed uh, where's the next chest next chest is on the left all right 20 seconds Make it uh, looks pretty far, seeing how the icon is not moving. So as I'm getting closer, no, can't reach it. So when you get on the um, chest uh, zone, it's actually pausing the um, pausing the timer. So if you get at zero zero, that's fine. Is gonna be paused, you can't take the chest and keep going. Alright, just comments. But 19, 18, that's pretty good. Um, that's pretty good. Actually, I'm having good luck with the chest. This one. Not the attacks um, or passive rarity, but the rolls are good. <laughs> But I don't have the um, rarity that goes with it. So, cleaning up. Uh, well, let's go with a sense extraction. Tree. Uh, we've recently implemented the. Um, fast roll uh, for the chest and uh, I, I keep forgetting it's there I just I, I just love the animation of the dice rolling uh, so I, I don't mechanically press but I'm gonna, I'm gonna press right now I kick and there we go 19 so we can roll quickly but I don't know if there's something again satisfying looking at the dice rolling it's just so So mini boss, we're on floor two. Uh, we're meeting the mini boss again. I think I'm at three or four. The lightning ball rare. That's 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 good. That is good. So let's pause right here and make sure we blast that thing. Than the first one, for sure. 
some speed. Uh, we need the speed. We need to be able to run away from the hundreds of uh, enemies that are coming for the next boss. Let's, uh, let's, try it. So let's let's go with this here just for fun. There we go. Epic fleet. I'm gonna take that for sure. This is something I want. And the super chest from the minibus. Um, another rare lightning bolt. Is this happening? Okay, some epic. I want to get. Oh, just four. Okay, okay, we'll deal with that. Some gold. Uh, I think about. Buying some potions uh, when I finish this run. At least it won't go out. Let's go. Let's run. So, um, if you're thinking about the bus uh, charge, um, it's actually doing the charge from time to time. And I have its shield now. Um, earlier, I was getting hit pretty bad by the Necrotic Storm, but now that I have my shield, um, my shield will most likely have the time to recharge in between each of these Necrotic Storms, so um, uh, I, I, I'm having a hard time dodging these things, but with the shield on, I should be able to actually uh, go through this phase pretty, pretty uh, easily. Um, I don't want any of those things here. Oh, that I want for sure. Epic chin life. Let's go. Okay, let's cook some enemies here. As you're leveling up, I don't know if you saw that, but when you're leveling up, um, there's a blast around the character, pushing everything away, so that when you do select whatever you select, um, and you get back, enemies are further away than they were right before the level up, and it just gives a bit of rest, and um, less stressful yes, than just having them right next to you. So a rare fleet, that is great. With two, I'm fine with that. I'm actually very fine with that. And a blue potion. So let's take a level up uh, and take that uh, Holland Blizzard. Yes. Keep going to the chest here. Um, all right, we are playing Pathfinder Gallows Fire Survivors, uh, which is coming out in two days. Not even two days, less than 48 hours, so in, uh, in like a day and a half. Um, 13? That's, that's okay. That's okay, that's fine. Uh, where are we? Floor 2, yeah, Floor 2. So Floor 2 has a mini boss. Floor 3 is just a floor. Um, Floor 4 is actually great channel, so this is where we're going. Right. Let's try to get that chest again. Rush, rare, let's go, yes, barely, but we made it. Alright, um, we can see that there's also a project built down there as we're leveling up this, we'll get up as well. Um, 
it's um, it, it it is not directly linked to um, you know, big comments or rare or pick um, level up for these things. It's it's a cumulative thing. So oh, that is heartbreaking. Um, I want those potions. So taking a few common could give you eventually a uh, projectile increase uh, where taking, you know, taking a legendary one could either give you one or, or not. So it's, it's cumulative and uh, as you're living up into the time it's eventually gonna give you more projectiles. There we go. So we, we can see here, right here, I was talking about that. That's awesome. Force Barrage, Common, Projective Count, plus one. So we're now having six um, projectile. Uh, and I got that from Common. Right down here. Uh, rare Force Barrage, I'm going to take that as well. And uh, we're already walking on another chest zone. Let's get some loot. Again, I'm just forgetting every time. I'm forgetting to skip the dice. This is not required, but apparently I don't need that. It's just I, I, it feels good. It's relaxing. <laughs> um, there's also an option, by the way, in the uh, in the option. So there is a skip dice animation option for. People who would want to do some kind of speed run. Um, I mean, it's it's there. Um, it's not my, my my it's not my thing. But uh, you know, some people would like that more than others. So uh, we've had feedback from the community. We wanted to make sure that people were happy and could play their own playstyle. So we uh, adapted. We listened. Got the, we got a team of passionate people, um, a kind of player playing over their weekends on the uh, the top uh, version. Uh, so many, obviously, uh, being the uh, game developers, uh, so many people passionate by uh, video games. Um, it's, a, it's it's great to mix both things here and um, have the uh, different kind of people on the project. Attracted by different aspects of this game, um, it it really has been great uh, over the last uh, months to hear people say, "No, oh, this is this is the kind of things I, I like to play in my spare time." With people getting back after the weekend, um, not not having not work on the project, not even on the project, and just getting us um, that they played over the weekend uh, to the game. It's it's a great great reward. Uh, for uh, for developers uh, to get those feedback, uh, it's so encouraging. Oh, there was two potion, one after the other. Here. So, are we ready for the the boss this time? I don't think we do a lot of damage. What do we have? Lighting bolt, holding blaze, or chain lightning. For sure, we're doing a lot of damage to big groups, um, but when it comes to direct hit single target uh we're not doing that much uh, so phase two should be okay uh phase one is maybe gonna be a bit longer here oh another chest so there's very little chance not happening the final seal of the tyrant's ancient seven Oil for century to destroy that seals. Um, of the three seals containing tarbon food, only one remains. We are in trouble. Ah, fallen champions returns. So we do remember that he killed us last time. That uh, 
Alright, let's try to show you what we're capable of doing. Let's do some dodge here. So, um, Bloody Bowl, um, Talon Blizzard, and Shinami aren't doing that much, but as you can see, the Force Barrage here, doing a lot of hits, a lot of, uh, hits, hits, doing a lot of DPS on the boss because there is now six uh, Force Barrage uh, guys going out every time, so it, 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 does, it does a lot of damage. Let's, let's have him stand here. Let's do this. Uh, where's my shield? Oh, my shield. My shield. Oh, so it wasn't that long. And I'm pretty confident about the phase 2. Uh, with our blizzard and lighting, lighting ball, I mean, so much damage to groups. Uh, I, I, I could, I could probably stand in the corner and just like wait there, but I'm not gonna do that because there would spam right in my face. God, plus 26. This is awesome. Please keep it going. Look at these DPS here. Poof. All done. Poof. Is essential. It's, it's very good. Oh god. Priceless, I would say. Let's stun him. Let's do some damage. Let's do some damage. Barrage hit it from so far away. Okay. Complete here. Where did he die? I mean, he was like very far. What happened? 
Did he kill himself running to a wall? Oh my god, that's so funny. Is that the thing? I'm not even sure. I should have an achievement for that. I should talk to the game devs. Kill the Grave General by facing a wall. That would be awesome. Lightning Bolt. That is great loot. And um, as we are playing the um, pre launch version of the game, and uh, there's still an embargo on uh, on many of the uh, streamers being able to stream only up to the force boss. I'm actually gonna have to end it here, and this is gonna be it. Um, I guess to see the rest, it's gonna be on September 14th when we um, when the game is being launched, and um, there is uh, there is a Discord for the game if you want to join.